life, get in the flow of right, take a step back and see your higher life. Gorgeous ones, welcome back to Destiny is Blessed to Be. And today I'm just doing a video, a nail video. I already pre painted, I'd already cut them, shaped them how I wanted them. Just wanted to make a little short video, just showing you me utilizing some of the stuff that I had showed in my previous video that I ordered. If you didn't see, it's just a couple of stuff that I had ordered off of Amazon, some little nail glitz and glamour. So, um, I already put this out. And this is one of the stuff, the items that I used. I decided to go for an orange color. So I'm just going to, it's semi, semi wet, semi dry. It's in between. So it's a little tacky. So I'm going to just apply that and show you how that looks. I'm just using this little clear case that actually has my pointed nails in it. And the nails that I'm using today, I had ordered these. And this is just the um the natural C shape tips. Don't really like them too much. It's actually my first time using it. I don't want to say I don't like it, but the thing is, is that it's a little bit wide. So I have to do a lot of work to cut them down and all of that, you know, good stuff. Um I'm thinking about using this today, the little nail decal decor decal. So let me start off with the stickers. It's not so much of stickers, but we're going to use them as stickers. If I could just get it up. Okay. Have a little butterfly. Probably can't see that. A little butterfly. And I think I'm going to put it on the index finger. I'm going to use this daughter tool that they sent me along the package I already have a little clear polish here so all I'm going to do is just dip the tip of that and try to pick it up let's see I'm going to put it on this piece of paper I have a paper towel yeah easily picked it up maybe I can show it to you better it's like a little butterfly and I'm going to apply that Seems like the polish dried a little bit, so because like I said, I preset everything off camera. Okay, so all I did was just apply a little bit of polish, clear polish, where I wanted that to go. I'm having a bit of a struggle here. Okay. I'm just pressing down gently. And you're going to seal it with some type of, you know, top coat. I usually put top coat first before I actually apply my quick dry. Okay, so let me show you. That's how that looks. Let me continue the rest. I'm going to put a little more top coat. Let's see if I can. Oh. I'm just applying because it kind of, like I said, it was semi dry. So I'm going to, once again, zip my daughter tool into the clear polish spot that I already created. Then I'm going to go for something else. Yes, it, this is the little Chanel logo. <laughs> Let me put that there. See how that looks. And I'm just pressing that in. Just doing the same process, which is, you know, random ones that I picked out. This is a heart that I'm applying. And when everything is fully complete, I will come back to show you when I actually apply them to my nails. If you can see that. And if you're curious, actually, 
just like the first video I had put out, my first nail video, all I did was create my own, um, my own press-ons using the same tips that you would actually use for acrylic half tips. And I just basically shaped them and mold them down into um, a press-on. Created a cuticle type of shape that fits to my finger. And that was really it. So let me just give you an idea of how that looks. If you can see that. Okay. Because when I put the clear coat, it should be fine. As long as you press it enough that you know it's sticking. Okay. Now I'm going to add a little bit of gold. And that's using one of the, the rhinestone boxes that actually came in a package. If you watch my previous video, you would know. If not, I had ordered like a little bundle set. And we're like about six of these tweezer, some paint brushes, brushes with like a, um, a silicone top, like a nice little set. Everything came in one. So this happens to be the rhinestone, the gold one, the gold rhinestone. Now for this one, and this one has like different shapes. As I explained in my last video, this is the one with the hearts, the squares, teardrops, circles, flowers, and triangles. So for this one, I'm going to go with the triangle. Just want to try the triangle. I'm gonna still use my same daughter, the one that actually came with the same package, the bundle I was just mentioning. Okay, all I did was dip the tip of my daughter. I'm just gonna pick me up a random. I picked up two, so. And it's okay if you pick up multiple ones just that's why I like to use a paper towel as my you know the protector okay so now I'm gonna place this one randomly somewhere on top I'm just going to add two more random ones. I'm not doing too much to the other nails. I'm going to leave it plain. And so I'm really mostly designing just the index finger. But with the other side, the other hand, <clears throat> the other set of nails that I'm going to do, I'm going to use one of the, <clears throat> I'm sorry, one of the images off of this nail art decal to put on the other index finger. I'm not really in a whole stone blinged out kind of mood. And place that right there. See how that's looking. A little close up. Okay. And just one more. And that's about it. And that's that. Okay. So with this, I'm just going to let it, you know, dry a little. And off camera, I'm going to try to, you know, press them in to make sure... They are well placed and they don't, they're not moving, but I want to make sure this is actually flat. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So I, I decided to add in a little rhinestone, the gold to that finger. Okay. So that's the pointer. This is the index. You can see 
I'm going to add this in. So basically all you do is cut the actual image that you want. I'm going to go for the sunglasses with the lollipop. If you can see. Really it says to peel back the layer first, but no, because I don't want to ruin the other one, so I'm just cutting that you want and cut it out. So that's the one I'm going for. And I think I'm gonna put it I think I'm gonna add it to the thumb. Being the fact it looks big enough. So okay. We're gonna peel it. Let me see if I can bring this close in the frame. This is the glass of the bowl of water. It didn't indicate whether it would be cold, warm, so I just have cool water. So you're supposed to dip this into the water. I'm peeling it out, peeling it off. Okay. I'm going to use my tweezer for this. And well, the felon, I would want it to, but let's see how this turns out. <clears throat> For about 10 to 20 seconds. Let it soak off. 10 to 20 seconds. I'm going to let it go a little over. If you can see that, that's that thing that's flowing in the water. Okay. And we're about to find out together how this applies and if it is accurate, if it is all that it is perceived to be. Just moving it around. Okay. And then I will show you how that looks. Let me see if you can just see the process of what I'm doing. And just place it. Oh, it's actually sliding off. Okay, so what I'll do. Let me see. Ah, that's so cute. Let me just, if y'all can see that. So I'm going to add a little more finesse to it, just so it's not so, you know, plain. Not so much of plain, I'm just using my finger just to run it over to smooth it out. Because it did get wrinkled, because like I said, it's my first time trying it. I didn't know how it was going to apply, but it definitely applies good. Flavor to it only because... You don't really need much, honestly. I was just smoothing it out. And you would add your top coat. Because I didn't expect it to just slide off like that. I did, but not so damn quick. Um, hmm. I'm going to add some teardrops. In the gold rhinestone only because I feel like that is not the best that I could have applied it so to make up I'm just gonna add a little few I'm not adding the top coat to the actual picture yet
just randomly picking up some gold stones to where I want them to be. And that's how that's looking. If you can see, let me move this. Okay. So now I'm going to add the top coat just to seal it. But the last top coat would actually be the um, quick dry that I want to apply. So I'm just adding it. Yeah, that's exactly what it does. It smooths it out and makes it blend in without you even noticing that it's the actual thing that you stuck to the nail. It kind of looks like it's in the nail itself. So this is like a finishing process for it. Not bad. And that's how that looks when it is actually sealed. Okay. So, I'm going to add some top coat to the actual um, index finger where I did the patch look. Looks like the little embroidery patch. Patches. I gotta bear with me, okay, because, like I said, I'm still getting used to, you know, doing all of this on the camera. Okay, so that's that. Added a little bit of clear coat to that, and I will solidify it. Continue to press a little more till it's flat and then I will put on the quick dry when that completely dries and set in place and this is the thumbnail with the picture for a first time trying not knowing what to expect not bad okay that's it guys when I'm done I will insert some pictures of the final product when I actually put them onto my fingers thank you for tuning in and I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of y'all day bye